We're di dividing by a binomial, technically. All right. So this one should be b minus 1 goes into b cubed minus 2b squared plus 2b plus 6. Now I'm going to I'm going to rewrite this a little different. You don't have to use different colors. I'm going to use different colors so you can see what I'm multiplying by what. Okay? So I'm going to say b minus 1. So again, we're still thinking what do I do with this to get this? So what do I multiply b by? to get b cubed. So I'm going to multiply this to get this. b squared. So up here I'm going to say b squared. Now here's the interesting thing. What is b squared times negative 1? Negative b squared. So since it's negative b squared I'm going to write it over here under whoops, negative 1 b squared. I'm writing it over here with the b squared because we can only add and subtract b squareds with b squareds, right? Now, what is b squared times b? b cubed. So, just to recap, I took this, multiplied it by this, and got this. I wrote this under here because I, they have to be like terms. Then I took this and multiplied it by this and got this. I wrote it under here because they have to be like terms. Now sometimes you don't have it to, and we'll talk about that when we get to it, but most of these problems right now are rigged up so that you do. Or you know, like a square or third power or fourth power. So anyways, what did we used to do? What's the next step? We would subtract, right? But remember when Mr. Adams said we do the opposite? So this is a positive b cubed, so what does it become now? A negative b cubed. This is a negative 1b squared, what does it become now? A positive. What is b cubed? I, th I think I'm saying the wrong thing, but I'm writing down the right thing. What is uh, b cubed minus b cubed? Zero, right? Now what is negative 2b plus 1b? Squared. I keep forgetting the powers. So what is negative 2b squared plus 1b squared? Yeah. You don't have to raise your hand. You can just shout it out, but I appreciate your politeness. So if you're not good with positive and negative numbers, just plug it in a calculator. We have a negative 2 plus 1. Boom, negative 1. So this becomes negative 1b squared. Again, we're going to come over here and we're going to say, what do I multiply b by? to get negative 1b squared. So we start with the number first. Technically this is a 1 in front of the b, isn't it? So what do I multiply 1 by to get negative 1? Negative 1. So this is a negative 1. Um, but now let's deal with the letter b needs to be multiplied by something to give me b squared. So what do I multiply b by to get b squared? b. Very good. So negative 1b. So now what I have to do is I'm going to multiply this by this and then multiply this by this. Alright, so watch. Negative 1b times negative 1 becomes what? positive 1b, right? So here's the trick. I have to drop this down too.
for now. So when I multiply this negative 1b times negative 1, it's a positive 1b. Yeah? And then the next thing I have to do is I have to multiply this negative 1b times a positive b, which is negative 1b squared. And we're going to do a ton of these examples. So I can tell by looking in your eyes, you're like, whoa. Remember, this is the first time you've seen this. So you're not going to understand it the first time. we got to go over this like six, seven times for you guys to feel really solid with it. Okay. So now what was the next step? Think of our problem with the numbers. What would we do at this point? Once we've multiplied everything out, what would we do? We would subtract, right? But remember, Mr. Adams said technically we're not subtracting, we're doing the opposite. So what's the opposite of a negative 1b squared? A positive. What's the opposite of a plus 1b? A negative. So we're going to, you could do it like this and put a little negative sign here. So what's negative 1b plus 1b squared? What's negative 1b squared plus 1b squared? Those cancel, right? They equal zero. What is one b or what is two b minus one b? One b. Now we don't need to write the zero down. I just write that down so you guys can see it. But this is just one b. Okay. Now what do you think we do? We're going to drop the six down. What kind of six? A positive six. Okay. We're probably going to have a remainder, guys. But that's okay. We know what to do with remainders, right? So then I got to think to myself, okay, back to the drawing board. What do I multiply 1b by to get 1b? Just a positive 1. So we're just going to say plus 1 here. So then we multiply it through. Um, positive 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. Um, and then 1 times 1b is a positive 1b, right? What do we do next? We add the opposite. So this becomes a negative. This becomes a positive. These add up to zero, so they kind of cancel, and so we're left with seven. That's the remainder. Okay. So then our solution is b minus 1 times the quantity b squared minus b plus 1 plus, do you guys remember what we do for that last one? What do we do with the remainder? And if you don't remember, it's okay. We, this is literally the third time you've seen it. We're going to put that remainder on top of the fraction. What goes on the bottom of the fraction? What we're dividing by, the divisor. Well, what does all that stuff equal? Well, it equals b cubed minus 2b squared plus 2b plus 6. So technically, technically, this is our answer. But I want you to know that we're saying this times this equals this. 
Okay. Does anybody have any questions? So I'll give you guys a little, I'll leave this up here. Uh, let me zoom out a little bit so you guys can finish writing it down. <clears throat> 